All right, so Anytime is going wild on Twitter. And everyone now wants an AI engineer or tech savvy hustler who can set up automations or make their internal tools or just work on business processes and make them 10 times faster with AI. And what is the centerpiece of all of these requests? Anytech. So in this video, we'll walk you through what even is any 10 and why is it so in? And how does it compare to other automation tools like Zapier, TaskMagic, IFTTT or Make? And last but not least, a hands-on tutorial where we will automate a startup idea and validate it by scraping Reddit to find top-notch business ideas. And this will be completely automated. Oh, yes, by the end of this video, we'll show you how to chain all of these pieces together into a sweet AI and any 10 workflow. So let's get started. Okay, but before we dive into any 10 or any other tool, let's address a basic question. Why automate anything at all? So in our experience working with countless founders, teams, and creators, we've seen that 80 to 90% of their tasks or any professional tasks are repetitive and that only 10 to 20% of them are truly creative jobs. Yes, there are exceptions. If all you do is art, like painting or something, but if you're in a corporate job, a startup, or any typical role, you know the drill. Tons of repetitive tasks. Sure, you can keep doing them manually and get really fast at them eventually, but if you have a laptop and are a little bit tech savvy, then why not just automate it? Okay, now back to any tech. So, if you've ever Googled automation, you've probably bumped into Zapier, IFTTT, or Make, or even new age automation like Task Magic or Kairos, where you just need to record a video and give some access to your personal accounts and then done. At the end of the day, each lets you create workflows. Maybe something like, when I get a new email, instantly send a message to me on Slack. Like, that kind of a thing. But at scale, these platforms can get expensive or limiting. Or maybe they lack the deep control that you need. Or they don't support your weird niche tool that you absolutely must integrate. Now, enter any 10 any 10 is an open source automation tool that's more powerful, cost-effective, controllable. In short, any 10 gives you maximum power and control without forcing you to code everything from scratch. Oh, and the best part, it's got a free tier that's genuinely free. It's not your typical free, but everything's locked kind of free. This one is actually free from the get-go. All right, enough theory. Let's do something fun and potentially profitable. So recently, we posted on Instagram that this idea is being used to validate or get million-dollar startup ideas with a defined demand in the market. And that deal performed so well that we thought, why not actually make it usable for all? The idea was simple. If enough people on Reddit complain about something, there might be a gap for a better solution. Okay, I'll give you the entire idea a bit deeply. So we want to scrape Reddit for the posts that contain why I hate Slack or Instagram, any of these products, and I'm not happy with Instagram or Slack or any of these products and so on. We'll gather these complaints automatically and then we'll filter for the ones with decent upvotes or engagement. And last, we'll see if we can derive a potential business idea. Sure, you could do it manually, but here, it's not 2017. So, we have any 10 to do this for us, so let's get started. All right, so building the automation in any 10. The first thing we're gonna do is head to any 10io and sign up like how you usually do. Once you're in, you'll see two options, start from scratch or test a ready to go AI agent example. And what we're gonna do is start from scratch. And over here, you're gonna see a plus sign. Now we wanna make this a manually done automation so that it only runs when we want it to run and not by itself. Because with automation, anything could be a trigger. Date change, someone posting, or you pressing a key, anything. So now our real automation starts. So we're gonna quickly add a Reddit note. And we're gonna use the search parameter here to get the post that we need. Okay, and to start this automation, we'll have to give access to our Reddit account, which is a third party app for any time. So considering that we've already done that, well, you don't have to do that again. But you can get all of your details like client ID and client secret easily at this link over here. Okay, so right now we have the keyword as why I stopped using Slack in the Slack subreddit. It could be hate DocuSign in that subreddit or I hate any 10. This could be whatever you want it to be. Then we will limit the amount of data coming in from Reddit here. So, so we've just put 10 for demo purposes. So for example, if you click on test step, we'll get 10 posts. See, we got it. People are talking about how they stopped using Slack and why. They detail their issues, talking about alternatives and exactly what we need. 
now since we're getting anything and everything it's not going to yield good results whenever you're manually looking for things you look for something with social acceptance right so let's put an if statement and have some parameters like upwards in it let's make the upwards to more than or equal to 2 and the self text should not be empty okay see our number of posts got reduced and now it's 6 okay so we're going to go ahead with these 6 posts and you can see how much data we have from them the next step is to get only what we need not everything reddit has to offer for our request so we'll quickly choose set field as our next step and in that we need only the following title which is very important uh, what they're saying which is going to be your self text number of upvotes created time url that's all we need so now we just need to let it run all right so now we bring the star of the automation our ai analyzing the problem behind all of it so we quickly select the model which is going to be gemini flash 2.0 Right. So as we're gunning for speed here, not complex analysis, and it's by far the fastest. No jokes. Okay. Then we'll also need logic or the prompt on what action the model has to take. So let's quickly write the prompt. Add the post placeholder and get our answer in yes or no see we're getting all yeses in the output here itself and if you want to change the logic it's as simple as this see i'll ask it to explain the problem too here we got an analysis too which is just amazing now we need to merge our findings from the ai node and the reddit search node and present them together so we'll go and find a merge node for this and let's combine the two nodes and set some parameters we're going ahead with combined and not append So now as we've gotten a generated field in our workflow, we should filter one more time for all the yes responses and move ahead with that for getting a solution for it. So now because we've already gotten yes from our previous node, these are the kind of problems you'll be facing. So let's try to get the solution using another AI node. We repeat the same steps again. So we're going to put in Gemini, use Flash and put in a prompt quickly. And then we're going to ask for a concise solution based on the problem the user is facing. All right, we've gotten answers to each and every Reddit post with problems the user is facing, and we've gotten super solid plans based on Gemini's response. And it's not as fast as yes and no, because it requires some sort of analysis from its end. Okay, and if you use better models, let's say some reasoning models like R1 or OpenAI models like or Claude, you'll be getting much better responses. But for fast responses, for the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead with Gemini. Okay, so now as we repeat the AI workflow steps, we're also going to repeat the entire merge step because we've got the response to the problem. So here, we'll merge the new AI workflow response through the sheet that we made in the past. And as our last step, what we'll do is integrate another external app, which is Google Sheets for us. And what we'll do here is click on the plus icon, get to Google Sheets and authorize it. For that, let's set up a sheet with all the columns we need. Title, original problem, creation date, upvotes, URL, and the solution. Yes or no, the solution and everything. All right, so we're going to add all of those parameters here. We'll also go back to any time and quickly set up Google Sheets. Okay, and here what we're going to do is under documents, form list, and it shows all the sheets we've made in our Google Sheets. So let's just choose problems in Slack, which we made with all the columns we need and choose sheet number one. We'll quickly match each column in Google Sheets to the JSON format we've gotten here in NA10. I'll just pick up everything, the match title with title, origin problem with the post, creation time, the upvotes, and URL. Okay, you can quickly run the entire workflow and you'll see that our entire JSON format findings will go to these sheets directly. We got everything we just found out and created on our sheets working with the third party app. So I think this is good to go. So understand this, what we did here is we made our entire workflow scrape Reddit for posts with this keyword. We put it into JSON, run our AI workflow on it, generate another finding, run another AI, then another finding. And finally, we took that finding into a Google Sheet. 
If we start on coding it right away with if else parameters, all these APIs, MCP, it would take us days. And here we showed you how we could do it in what? Five to six minutes, guys? Yeah? And if you found this helpful, like and subscribe and let us know in the comments which repetitive workflow you're excited to automate next.